Let's talk now about replying to direct messages. I want to make sure we can get to all the topics we want to cover. So um, first of all, uh, talk about what is a direct message in the context of LinkedIn. And then uh, you're also talking about a new tool called Get Magical uh, that is exciting to hear more about. Yeah, so there are tools that allow you to inject direct messages and help you with your replies. So if you go on LinkedIn and you click on messages, you might get messages from people and you may not have time to reply or you may want to reply, but you don't know the right words to use. So you put in a sentence and it just doesn't sound right. And then you leave and you never reply to your prospect or to your potential client. So using a tool like Get Magical, you can actually save templates inside Get Magical or there's another tool called Briskine, B-R-I-S-K-I-N-E. Or you can use Evy AI to automatically generate DMs inside LinkedIn. Any of those tools that you use, it'll help you customize the direct messages, either with templates or using artificial intelligence. Get Magical actually reads the content and it replies. So does Evy AI. Briskine doesn't read the content. It just provides you with templates that you save inside your, inside your Google Chrome. So my recommendation is to consider using artificial intelligence to help you draft direct messages that will make it go faster and it'll sound much more professional. A lot of us need spell check. A lot of us not sure what, what to write in the DM. So if if you want, I'll, I'll just quickly show you. Um, if, if I go into my DM right now and the way that you do it is you go to the top of LinkedIn. I don't know if you guys are using DM, but DM is extremely powerful to book conversations on LinkedIn. So if you want to do business development, one of the most important things that you can do on LinkedIn is use direct messages. So I have lots of different messages. Rachel, for example, said, Joe, it's a pleasure to blah, blah, blah. She sent me this spam. I'm not going to reply to this. Um, but Elizabeth said, absolutely, it's great that the AI, and I'm interested in signing up to your classes and additional training. That's lovely. So I want to reply to her, but I don't necessarily have time to sit down and write a reply. So I might use Get Magical. I might use Briskine or I might use Evy AI, and I'll literally just insert a comment that says, thank you for your expressing interest in my comments. I'm thrilled to hear that you find them valuable. I believe they can provide additional training that you're seeking to ensure that you receive the most value from the classes. Could you please let me know which specific topics or areas you want to focus on? This will help me tailor the content to your needs. Looking forward to helping you further development. So I'm going to delete this because I don't want to bother Elizabeth with this. But as you can see, it wrote up a really nice direct message, and I'm going to take the meat of it, and I'm going to press send. And now Elizabeth has a really well-written direct message that took me about a second to write instead of it me sitting down and thinking about what to write um, and so on. So these tools are extremely useful. And using tools like Google Bard, you can actually save all these generic comments. You can ask it to create generic comments. And then you can put those into a tool like Briskine. So for example, if I want to um, reply to, let's say, for example, Shannon. Shannon asked me about my tool. I press control space bar, and now I have a bunch of different templates that I saved inside Briskine or Get Magical, and these templates I created with AI, and it'll automatically do that. I click on this. I just want to say I appreciate you very much. Thank you for being connected with me. Let me know how I could add value to your life. Wishing you amazing things. You see that? So I have lots of different templates that I created based on different scenarios, and depending on the type of business and the type of scenario and what you have going on, I would consider creating those templates to make it much easier for you to be able to send direct messages. And, um, you know, a direct message is uh, very similar to, uh, you know, essentially an email uh, inside of LinkedIn for those of you who are newer to the platform. And so, you know, we've talked about like different types of content creation so far. Uh, we've talked about creating posts which are like uh, blog posts. We've talked about comments, which is responses to other people's posts. And now we've talked about DMs. 